haven't yet subscribed, just go ahead and do so because it's very important you do so because you don't want to miss those luxurious menus that I have to present to you and those delicacies. You don't want to miss them at all. So for the ingredients, we need cocoa yams, palm oil, limestone, mushroom, maggi, salt, they are two spices and instead of fish I choose to use shrimps, fresh shrimps for my soup then I've equally boiled the meat, it's a mixture we have turkey, tripe, cow feet and beef so I'm going to soak the dry mushroom in water and add to, to the mixed meat so I'm adding the dry mushroom to the to the meat the mixed meat and I'll just boil it again and the fresh mushroom I'll do that I'll add it towards the end with the shrimps so that don't get too soft and saggy so the cocoyam is ready so now you need a mortar you need some water with a spoon you need a bowl to remove the cocoyam after pounding it so I'll just go ahead and start pounding yes this is very easy to peel and there we go so you want to pound it while it's still very hot so that you get all the fine grains make it smooth and easy to eat without lumps you can put more than one cocoa yam and pound in it all depends on your strength because my mortar is small I like to take one at a time one or two at a time See, this one is already ready. You have an option to use a blender. So actually it all depends. You can choose to add a true banana inside. That's a choice, but I just like to make mine simple to prepare. And that's it. I just finished pounding it. Oh my god, this looks good. So I'm getting ready to make the soup, the actual soup. Yeah. So the mixed meat is ready. I just want to add the shrimps to it, and I'll boil it for about five, five, ten minutes. And we'll be good to go. And I'll just add the mushroom without boiling. The heat from the water is going to heat it up and cook it. Oh my god. It's so good. Mushroom time. So I'm adding the mushroom. And we are good to go. The fire is actually off. You don't want it to cook too soft. Like, you just want it to look that crunchy and sweet and succulent inside the soup so that's it so i added some water to the limestone for it to dissolve so i'm taking out the mixed meat and i'm putting it in a separate container because i want to use the meat stock yummy 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 Yummy, yummy, mm, smells good. My mouth is already doing wah 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 wah. <laughs> this is good food. Can't wait to devour this food. So I'm heating the oil. I'll just heat it. I don't want to make it too hot. You just want to make it in between, not too hot, not too cold. But the oil by itself is a good oil. And I'm sure that the soup will be so yummy. So we're going to use the meat stock 
and mix with the oil, with the limestone and the actual spices. So I'm adding some oil in the beef stock. Then I'll go ahead and add the limestone. So when the limestone is okay, you know it because the, the color of the actual of the sauce will change. So the limestone is not okay, that's why you still see oil on top of it. So I'm going to add more limestone. When you start seeing those bubbles on top, it means the soup is perfect. Ready to go. So I added some limestone. You see, when you see the foam start coming out, it means ready to be eaten. Yes. So I'm going to pour it again. It's just a way of blending it. If you don't want to do this method, you can use a blender. So I finished turning the, the actual soup. I'm just adding some seasoning to it. This is Maggi. I added two cubes of Maggi and salt i'll add a little bit of salt remember when we were boiling the meat we added we did some seasoning so we don't want to put too much if not it's going to be over seasoned so you can add some pepper you can drop a few pepper inside to give it that mm, that aroma so i'll just add the meat as well in the soup because you want the soup the meat to get inside the soup so let's do this You want the soup to get inside of it. That's how the meat gets inside the soup. <laughs> Whoa. This is good food, man. So everything is there. Mm. Oh, gee. So I will add a few pepper. And our soup is ready for eating. Make a broken down for broken moon. I understand fine. I say no. If you never subscribe, <laughs> you go subscribe because you're going to miss out on because I didn't do or you both chop. I didn't do pay chop. I didn't do all the African chop them. In fact, if you don't subscribe, now you a video because you're going to miss. Like, Hey guys, your lady P here, and you go watch me, as I the pound them, and you go watch me, as I the chop them, and you go watch me, as I the swallow, and who say African baby no sabi cook at you, yeah, 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 thanks for watching.